subscribe this channel for educational videos and also don't forget to press the bell icon in order to get the instant notifications of our latest stuff hello everyone i welcome you all to this online course on wireless communication our today's topic is paging and cordless systems before the study of paging and cordless systems let me very briefly give you an overview of cellular systems that we have already covered in our previous lecture so let's start this lecture overview of cellular systems this diagram represents a typical cellular system here you can see a particular geographic area is covered by these hexagonal shapes and all these hexagonal shapes have their respective base station and all these base stations are connected to a msc which is further connected to a pstn network okay the main components of this typical cellular structure are mobile station base station and msc mobile station can be found anywhere in this coverage area which is represented by these hexagonal shapes and base station is there inside these hexagonal shapes and all these base stations are connected to a msc which is mobile switching center and that is further connected to a pstn and any user or any mobile station inside this coverage area that is connected to a pstn network which is your public switch telephone network that connects your landline phone in your homes and this mobile user can be connected to these pstn network with the help of this msc or generally you can say this cellular systems they provide connection between a mobile user and the pstn network okay large number of users are accommodated over large geographic area with limited frequency spectrum we can accommodate many number of users by extending these hexagonal shapes and also with the minimum uh, frequency spectrum or a limited frequency spectrum which means we can use the same frequency spectrum in one cell and in other cell by providing a sufficient isolation of frequency between the two frequency spectrums okay and the limited coverage area provided by the base station transmitter that is this hexagonal shape is called as a cell okay this hexagonal shape is called as a cell in the cellular systems same radio channels are reused by another base station that is for example if you are using some frequency spectrum say x megahertz in cell number a and the same x megahertz frequency can also be used in some cell number b b by providing a sufficient isolation okay that is called as the frequency reuse concept and that is the beauty of these cellular systems handoffs enable uninterrupted call while the users are moving okay this cellular system uh, also facilitate a mechanism called handoffs where the users can move from one cell to another cell and that too without uh, the termination of call and without the uninterrupted call okay and this is enabled by the handoff mechanism mobile switching center handles 5000 telephonic conversations simultaneously and 1 lakh users in a network so at a time msc is able to handle 5000 simultaneous calls but this number can be different for today's Uh, cellular system that is in 4G and 5G uh, we can accommodate large number of users and also the MSC can handle more number of calls at a uh, specific time. Okay. Communication between base station and mobile station is possible with common air interface. And further, this common air interface specifies four channels. Number one is FCC that is forward control channel. Number two is reverse control channel rcc and these forward and reverse control channels are basically beacons since they continuously broadcast the traffic requests for the mobile units within the 
cellular systems and the number three is fvc that is forward voice channel and the number fourth is reverse voice channels these forward voice channel and reverse voice channels are basically used for the voice communication in a typical cellular system now the type of mobile radio communication systems generally we have three types of uh, these mobile radio communication systems and these are simplex communication systems half duplex communication systems and full duplex communication systems in some simplex communication systems you have only communication in one direction that is for example you have your paging systems in such communication systems you just receive the messages but you cannot acknowledge the messages that is what we call as the simplex communication systems in half duplex communication systems you have a two way communication but through the same channel that is the same frequency spectrum is used for the communication and the example for the, these type of communication systems is push to talk and release to listen in this case you push the button of a particular device in order to uh, record your voice and then you release to listen the communication from the other side because the same communication channel or same frequency channel is being used uh, for the two way communication okay then you have full duplex communication systems and these systems they allow two way communication simultaneously with two different channels for example you have your cordless systems they provide you uh, a full duplex communication simultaneously and the uh, technologies used for these uh, cordless systems are fdd and tdd that is frequency division duplexing and time division duplexing now in fdd two simplex channels with fixed and known frequency separation is used but well, when you are using fdd based systems for full duplex uh, communication there for the uplink and downlink traffic you use two different simplex channels and these two channels are separated by a sufficient frequency band and uh, the suggested uh, separation is 5% of the total radio frequency band and these ftd based systems are used for the analog communication systems now tdd time division duplexing uh, here a single radio channel is shared in time so that a portion of time is used to transmit from base station to the mobile station and remaining time is used to transmit from mobile to base station and if the channel data transmission rate is high than that of users and data rate then user is provided with the appearance of full duplex okay tdd is uh, further possible only for the digital formats and uh, that's why it is used for a smaller radio coverage now paging systems paging systems are uh, communication systems that are used for sending the brief messages and uh, these brief messages may include uh, alphanumeric numeric or voice messages and uh, the modern examples of uh, our paging system are news headlines and faxes uh, there you see uh, you get the news you get the instructions or you get uh, something new using these faxes and news headlines but you cannot acknowledge these uh, modern paging systems as well so there is only one way communication in the paging system paging systems are typically used to notify a subscriber about some situation that is a subscriber is notified uh, to make a call to a particular person or the subscriber is notified to travel to a particular location for further instruction uh, because uh, this was uh, only one way communication and only a particular subscriber is notified with the help of these paging systems uh, by sending the messages and in this uh, particular system the message is uh, basically called as a page and in the paging systems paging system access number is provided that is a toll free number and that is used to send a page uh, the subscribers uh, have to call that toll free number and they record their message which is called as page and that message is further transmitted to a uh, particular subscriber okay 
depending upon the complexity of these paging systems and the coverage capacity of these uh, paging systems they are further classified as simple paging systems and wide area paging systems in simple paging systems they have very limited range of uh, uh, their uh, coverage and uh, this range varies from 2 to 5 kilometers or it is confined to a particular building or a local area whereas the wide area uh, paging system they behave like a, a typical cellular system and they provide a worldwide coverage right so we have two types of uh, paging systems depending upon the complexity and coverage that is simple paging system and wide area paging system further these paging systems uh, can be elaborated uh, with this diagram you see here in this diagram you have PSTN network and uh, this PSTN network is connected to the paging control center and this paging control center is further connected to different uh, paging terminals in the different cities like in the city 1, in the city 2, city 3 and in the city N and there are different paging terminals and this paging control center is connected to all these paging terminals and each of these paging terminals they have their own base station and the mobile user or the user with a device called pager that can move under the coverage area of these base stations okay and this link this is uh, this link is uh, provided by the uh, satellites and this link is called as a satellite link link and this paging uh, system facility can also be availed with the help of satellite link okay this is a typical diagram of a paging system and this paging system represents a wide area uh, paging system not a simple uh, paging system and it is uh, spread over the larger coverage area or a wide area paging system fine these paging systems are simple and inexpensive as we have to send only messages uh, that can range from uh, voice messages to numeric or alphanumeric uh, messages so these uh, doesn't cost uh, much infrastructure and uh, that's why they are simple and inexpensive uh, one more thing that is called as simulcasting uh, in this wide uh, area paging systems uh, we require uh, telephone lines and uh, we require many base stations we require uh, large radio towers uh, in order to provide the radio coverage and if uh, all these base stations they broadcast a particular page for a particular user simultaneously and that is called as the simulcasting and uh, further uh, this paging system communication uh, can be considered as a reliable communication uh, because uh, message uh, delivery is considered to be more reliable as compared to the voice communication and further uh, this type of communication also require large transmitters uh, to transmit large power in terms of kilowatts uh, because uh, the attenuation is uh, at a rate of 20 or 30 uh, decimals is expected uh, in these uh, paging systems and uh, a uh, low data rate is sufficient for the delivery of messages uh, that is that ranges from uh, some thousand bits per second uh, that is 6400 bits per second okay so this is uh, all about the paging systems and now we will see uh, the cordless system cordless telephone systems these are full duplex communication systems that use radio to connect a portable handset and each portable handset that is your cordless phone that is connected to a dedicated base station and this base station is connected to a dedicated telephone line with a specific telephone number okay and uh, these portable handsets they can work only under the coverage area of a dedicated base station the first generation of these cordless systems was deployed in 1980s and this generation was able to provide the mobility up to only few meters that is uh, approximately tens of meters of mobility is provided by these first generation uh, cordless systems these phones or you can say these handsets they operate solely as an extension to your telephone transceivers that you are having uh, in your homes your landline phones 
and uh, these uh, cordless phones or you can say these portable handsets they work as an extension to your uh, landline phones connected to a subscriber line on PSTN network okay and after that uh, the second generation allowed subscribers to use handset at outdoor location and it uh, gave you a feel of uh, mobile cellular systems to the users so that they could use these uh, handsets uh, at the outdoor locations and uh, this second generation was first deployed in london and hong kong okay and the, this uh, this second generation uh, cordless phones were able to provide uh, mobility support up to few hundred kilometers so it is a very simple concept and this is the structure of uh, cordless phones uh, initially you have your pstn networks they are connected to your base station and further uh, under a particular base stations these cordless phones uh, can be operated and these cordless phones uh, used to be associated with your landline phones and uh, you can uh, use these uh, phones up to certain limits if you are using uh, your first generation although in the second generation uh, these were allowed to uh, use uh, over a wide area uh, that means the users uh, can take these uh, cordless phones uh, up to a wider range so uh, that is all about these uh, uh, paging and cordless systems uh, i don't think these are uh, that difficult to explain anymore these are very simple concepts so this is all uh, about this lecture thank you so much for watching